They impact 80% of women, disproportionately women of color. Fibroids are benign tumors that grow in the uterus, but removing the lesions puts patients at risk for serious complications. Dina Barrett tells us about a combination treatment that has less blood loss and better outcomes. Initially, I was told um, you have a full hysterectomy, which I was surprised by. That was one option 41-year-old Angela Lamondi had after an MRI scan revealed several large fibroids that were causing daily pain and pressure and compromising her bladder function. I was next told that um, all of the fibroids could just be surgically cut out, which ran the risk of extreme blood loss. I went with my gut about it and I was too young to have to do something so invasive. So I'm glad I looked for other options. We're starting to see a fibroid here and another one here. OBGYN, Dr. Magdi Malad had another plan. And then the largest fibroid is here on the back. Several actually. First, interventional radiologists cut off the blood supply to the fibroids, a procedure called uterine artery embolization that's been used since the 90s. So we're gonna go ahead and inject some lidocaine with epinephrine. The second step, surgery, for Angela on the same day, called a myomectomy. Dr. Malad then removed as many fibroids as possible with much less blood loss thanks to the earlier embolization. In a lot of cases, we can minimize the blood loss to just a couple of tablespoons. What can be 200 to 800 millimeter loss in blood during a typical myomectomy was reduced to about 15 mLs in Angela's combination case. The team also used several medications and a tourniquet around the uterus to control bleeding.